Hello, guys. Good evening. It's nice to see you again. How are you doing today, guys? Sorry about that. There we go. Are you guys able to hear me? Because I, I'm, I'm having a, some technical difficulties today. I don't know why. But are you guys able to hear me? I hope you guys can hear me. Well, it's nice to see you again, guys. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being punctual. Righty, guys. So, um, appreciate you coming to the class. So, uh, you can remember last week we worked on section number three, and you guys also completed section uh the midterm exam that was like the assignment for last week and i can see that most of you uh completed everything that you were supposed to but uh probably there are a few of us that still have a couple of things that we need to complete so that's fine if you guys have the opportunity to do it i will encourage you guys to do that because that's very important okay so uh welcome karen good evening thank you for coming how are you Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. Uh, well, I'm, I'm great. And um, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Awesome. And uh, today I finished um, the midterm exam and I begin with and the number four section. Very good. Very good. Yeah. I'm happy to hear that. Glad Thanks. to hear that, Karen. Thank you for coming. And I uh, thank you for working on the platform and thank you for catching up okay thank you teacher you're welcome hi guys and good evening daniela thank you for coming i'm happy to see you again how are thank you thank you i'm sorry teacher i'm good trying to make all <laughs> all the exams all the labs and all the texts all the tests because i didn't I don't know what's the word, but I, I couldn't do this. You didn't complete all of the activities? Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, yes. But right. I will do today at night, okay? So No problem. That's fine. If you can Thank do it you. today, that would be that would be great. That would be awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know that you guys are busy. I know that you guys probably have a lot of things to do. And especially if you guys I can imagine that you guys uh have to work probably all day. I, I don't know that for sure, but I know that we are busy most of the times and then it's kind of hard uh, to manage uh, all the different activities that we have to do during the day. So that's fine. I completely understand that. But uh, you guys have to make like an, a, the best effort that you guys can so we can complete the activities by the end of the week, right? So that's that's good. I mean, I don't have any problems with that. It's just that uh, probably people from English Corporativo, uh, they would they want you guys to complete the activities like, you know, by the end of the week. That's how they, they do it. So, well, guys, I'm really happy to see you again. Uh, thank you for coming. Hope you guys enjoyed the weekend. I hope you guys were able to relax and have fun. Hopefully you guys did something fun during the weekend. Uh, maybe you guys went out. Or you guys maybe went to the movies. Uh, anything interesting that you guys want to share with the class? Let's see you, Franco. Thank you for coming, Franco. Happy to see you again. I'm glad that you're here because last week, or I don't know when, but you were not able to join the class. So I'm happy to see you. Walter? Yeah. I guess that it was on... Um... Excuse me. Uh, yes. Um, I'm talking. Can you hear me? Now I can hear you. Yes. Um, it was on Thursday, I think. Thursday. I found a link. Yeah. I guess that I with with someone else <laughs> yes, but, 
that was really fun right yes. away that was really funny you were with someone yes. else i don't know what was going on it was like yes. i didn't know that it was you i was confused but i'm happy that we were able to figure it out and that you're here that's good but for me it was was weird because we were four people there <laughs> and we were waiting and anything happened Right, that's right. So, I, I don't know what is going on with that group because there were just four people, including you. So I don't know what is going on with them. I don't know if they have a, a teacher assigned to them. And I don't know what was going on with their teacher because, I mean, he was not there. So I, I don't know. I don't know. It's a, how do you say, um, it is a mystery. <laughs> it's a mystery. That is correct, Walter. Yes. So, yes. did you do anything interesting during the weekend, Walter? Anything that you would like to share with the class? Um, I was thinking about painting the house, but I was really busy because um, I have to do many things on weekend during the weekend. So, mm -hmm. um, I'm waiting for vacation because I want to paint paint the house can i can i say that mm -hmm. yes yes and i have to spend around five days i oh think because i have to do it by my own yes i see i'm thinking about it yeah mm -hmm. that happens i know that's what you all. mean yeah very good thank you mm -hmm. walter yeah that happens i mean sometimes we are yes. like too busy that we can't find the time to do that kind of things and then uh, for example in my case i'm also waiting for my vacations mm -hmm. so i can do uh, a couple of things that i i have to do that i haven't been able to because of, uh, i don't have enough time so i know exactly what you mean and it sounds like you have a big house for walter because i mean it's gonna take you five days you probably have a big house <laughs> no what happened is that i like to paint the house and i don't like to make a mess when i paint i, and I try to use uh i don't know how do you say a uh, newspaper, uh, mm -hmm. periodical, and uh, how do you say, tiro? Uh, tape. <laughs> Stick. Tape. Tape in every part of the esquinas. Uh, the edges um, or the borders. Edges, yes, and the borders. And I try to do it the most, um, I try to do it the best I can. I see. So that's why I think that I spend so much time in something. That's why what it, why mm -hmm. it takes you so long because you try to do yes. a, an excellent job. You want to do it yes. perfect, like a yes. professional, right? Like a professional, I try. right? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. How about you, Karen? Have you yeah. ever painted your house? Or yeah, it is, it is not <laughs> something that I enjoy it. So. Um, as Walter said, it takes me a couple days because probably I just do one uh, wall. Uh -huh. Next day, I'm going to the other wall. <laughs> so that's why it takes me a lot of time because it's not something that I like it. But, well, we should do it, right? Right. Exactly. Yeah, and especially during this time of the year. I mean, uh, I don't know about you guys, but me and my brothers, like we uh, i have two younger brothers i'm the oldest so i my two younger brothers and me we would like paint the house and we would we would do it around this time of the year it's like uh, because of the holidays and all of that we wanted to be in the house and we wanted to look nice and we wanted we wanted the house to look uh, pretty uh, because uh, we usually have vacations uh, uh during this time of the year like November, December. So uh, that's the reason why we would paint the house. And since we were three the boys, uh, it was a little easier for us. I mean, because we had, uh, we helped each other out. It, it sounds like, for example, Walter or Karen, you guys uh, do it by yourselves. So that makes things a little harder. Well, I have my sister helping me, but it's 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 kind of the same. We I think we are in the same mood. Yeah, uh -huh. she doesn't like it too much either. <laughs> no, we didn't like it. Yes, it 
even if he, even if you try to pay to someone else, uh, to paint your house, I think that yeah, you have to pay around uh, 50, 60, 80 dollars or wow. more. I think that's that is the less you can pay. Yeah. It's kind uh, of expensive, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but know. if you have vacation, yes. Walter, you can yes. go ahead and enjoy your vacations painting the house. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. I will. I will. Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay. That's what happens at the end. I, I, I mean, I can relate to that, guys, because that's something that happens to me. Like I was telling Walter before, it is like uh, when you grow up, when you become an adult, uh, and then you have your vacation. It, it is not like when you are young uh, that you have all that time, so you can just uh, do nothing or do other kind of activities. Usually, when you get old. Uh, you have to spend uh, your vacation time doing things like things that you are not able to do normally so that's awful I, I, but that's how that's what it is right i mean uh, we can do anything about it so well guys uh, thank you so much guys i'm really happy to see you and like i mentioned before i hope you guys are having a good time hope you guys had a nice weekend jacqueline how are you doing, Jacqueline? Fine, thanks. Awesome. Are you nice tired? Weekend. Are you tired? How was your day? From today. From today, a little bit. I think the, the season started to uh, get lower or uh -huh. the people start to, to, to buy low, less, less gift cards and our reviews are less from the last week. I am not uh, I'm not sure is, if it's f just only for today or it's going to be the same than hopefully, last week. Hopefully the, things the, get the better. following days. I know. <laughs> no. uh -oh. I need to spend time what watching happened? videos. <laughs> <laughs> well, reading a book, you told me that you also enjoyed like reading and that kind of things, right? Yes. Excuse me, uh, Walter, do you, you want to say something? No, she mentioned a gift card. About what? I was going to ask uh, Jacqueline the same. Where did she? Yes. Like? Yeah. <laughs> it was my uh, the, the company that I work for is, is uh, from the United States company. They sell gift cards from, it's like, uh, for example, Siman uh, buys gift cards to select us for their employees for the holidays. Do you work and, in the center? Sorry? Do you work in a call center? Yes, it's a con uh, the, yes, the company is a call center, but uh, I work for compliance department and I have to make the reviews that the purchases that the clients in the United States are doing these days are not for um, made or made by frosters. Mm -hmm. Is Black Hawk? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I work here at Blackhawks too. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you too, Ta Jacqueline. Uh, well, but I'm, I am part of the account specialist, so I'm working. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. It's a yeah. nice place to work, by the way. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay, so we have like kind of like two colleagues here, Jacqueline and Karen. Awesome. We didn't know this. Uh, we just no. we just found out right now. That's very interesting. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know all the departments in the call center area uh, because we just handle account processes like DPs or CPs yeah, information. But uh, it's interesting. Yeah. I know that they do a lot of things in the call center area. Very good. Very good. Yeah, it sounds like Jacqueline, uh, she, she was telling me the other time, I, I, I think that she was not here like with everybody present. I think it was just uh, she and I. Uh, she was telling me that she felt sometimes like um, like in a secret, like a secret agent, like from the FBI or something like that, <laughs> because uh, she's the one that usually um, checks that everything is uh, right. 
that there is not like any kind of fraud going on. Like like she said, she's trying to make sure that uh, there is not any fraudsters, like people stealing uh, somebody else's identity, I guess. Because that's something that happens a lot, especially in the US. Yes, and in these days, it's very common. Yeah, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's the reason why in the US, they have like a lot of uh, security process, the processes that they follow. Like, for example, they ask you a lot of questions uh, so they can verify your identity uh, because people would do that in the past. They like, for example, uh, they pretended to be somebody else by using uh, somebody's uh, first and last name, uh, somebody's address and that kind of things. Mm -hmm. So what happened is that there are in the right stage, your, your ID, there is call ID. It is really important and not like here, but here someone can uh, buy a Dewey for $10. I remember that the people used to buy Dewey's in order to uh, buy things in Omnisport mm -hmm. under your name, but it's not something really expensive or hard but there mm -hmm. it is very important because even if you die they can continue using your security right. number social security number and it is it is money yeah it is different that's right yes you're right i mean there are a lot of things that they can do and and i think that uh, nowadays with technology uh there is more people do it and kind of things because it's easier for them to access to your identity. I, I know that, for example, in my case, I get a lot of these emails all the time, like saying that I, I purchased something that I didn't and they ask me to click on a link. So then you can enter your like email address and your password so they can get access to your accounts. So you guys have to be very careful with that. Not, I think that probably a lot of you are I already know this, but always uh, be on the lookout for that. If you see something suspicious, don't click on it. I, I tell I tell my mom and my and my my dad because usually, like older people, they they don't they are not really familiar with that, uh, and they just click on everything and they believe that it is uh, true. So I, I usually tell them not to click on anything because uh, I remember that once. My mother's uh, WhatsApp account was hacked. Somebody uh, hacked her account, and then they started to send like these uh, uh, pictures of like really awful things, and it was like really scary. We were really concerned, but at the end, she was able to get access to her account again. Like, but but it took her like seven days. It took her it took her a long time. So we need to be very careful with that, guys. We need to be very, very also, careful. Sorry, go ahead. Also, sorry, it's also important to not provide information like, but it, because uh, I, I think that we all know that how this works when someone sends you a message on WhatsApp that it says, uh, who, do we, who do you think I am? <laughs> I am, am I? Mm. Uh, I am a relative and I uh, saw you when you were a child, something like that. And uh, usually older people <laughs> or elderly just to say, ah, it's that uncle Juanita, uncle or aunt, no sé qué. Mm. They provide the information and uh, the fraudster is going to uh, take in the people for their way they they are uh getting the information from us that and is it correct. is important to tell them uh, especially them that, that they are they know this kind of frauds but in another way in the, at the old school like right. someone knocks the door <laughs> and uh just to tell them uh you know your sister is in the frontier and uh, they need money or i'm going to sell you this uh piece of gold but it's uh, i don't know that is the way that they used to uh know and uh, now it's different that's true that's mm -hmm. true jacqueline very very true yeah uh there is a lot of fraud going on guys 
uh, it's just amazing how it works. Uh, in, nowadays, I don't know if you have heard about this, but now it's like they ask you to invest in something. Like, for example, they tell you that you can invest in a car and that if you invest on that car using an app, you are going to make, make money. That's another way that they do it. At, at, at the beginning, it's like you make money and you feel uh, excited because you, you feel like you are getting more money. But then uh, they all of a sudden, they disappear. Have you ever heard about that? Vamos a ver, ¿alguien ha escuchado acerca de eso? Eh, había well, ahí... I saw something on uh, TikTok mm -hmm. and uh, she was asking to invest in something. Mm -hmm. um, it was weird because a lot of people was asking mm -hmm. um, about how is the process, how much they need to invest. But even in TikTok, it's, it's... and I think that the, suitca the suitcases, it was something that it was like a well very common um it happens here in the country and i don't think that it's not just for older people because i know mm -hmm. someone mm -hmm. um that is recently graduated from university mm -hmm. and she lost a lot of money oh my waiting God. for the suitcase from the airport that never came oh my God. <laughs> so it's not just for old people i think it's Right. Everyone that didn't know that is a fraud. Yeah. Right. That's totally right, Karen. You, I agree with you, and that's the reason why, at some point, I'm I'm like really scared, and it's hard to trust, uh, people in the, on on the internet, and sometimes I just prefer to do it uh, with a company like an established company, because I know that there is a guarantee, even if it is uh more expensive but i i just feel that confidence that i'm not gonna lose all my money because i, I it happened to me at some point too I'm, I'm not gonna lie it happened to me but i didn't lose too much money but tell us the story <laughs> <laughs> i'm just a little ashamed i i wish it didn't happen to me and i don't, I don't know if i if you guys want to hear this it's a long story and it makes me, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, every I, time every time that I think about it, it makes me feel really angry about myself. Tell us. Ya veo que le gusta el chambre, ¿verdad? But don't cry, please. <laughs> no, eh, bueno. Let, let me tell you the story, okay? But let's, let, uh, here we go. I'm going to be like any other teacher telling a story about my life, you know, nothing related to the class, <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> a couple of years ago, guys, um, there was this, uh, uh, woman, uh, I was a friend of my mother and I, I didn't, I just know, I just knew her, but she wasn't my friend. It was my mother's friend and she was into this, um, online uh invest platform okay so she told my mom hey uh, we are doing this and we're making a lot of money so why don't you uh, and your family uh, do it and you guys can make money too uh so at first i was like no i don't think that that is uh legitimate i, I think that that's gonna be like some scam and i didn't want to do it at first but then she kept insisting and telling me over and over again and she told she told me uh, look, uh, I just uh, made like $100 and I've been doing this for like a month or two months. I don't know. But she told me that she, she had been doing that for uh, some time. So I said, well, uh, she, she insisted so much because uh, you know how when they do that, when they like refer you, uh, they, uh, they get like some kind of bonus for that. So she told me like so many times that at the end I agree. I said, all right, let's do it, whatever. I was like, I thought, I mean, hopefully I can get some money. Hopefully I can make some money by doing this. And I was afraid because I'm always like that. I'm always like uh, anxious and I get nervous like this. And at the end I, I did it and I, 
I lost like one hundred dollars. It wasn't like that too much, but I I I lost like one hundred dollars because it was a scam, and that made me feel that made me feel like really bad and really dumb because I felt like I I knew it from the beginning, and I don't know why I I, I accepted to do it at the end. I was it made me feel really sad. But there was nothing that I could do. And there were a lot of people. I think that th that people, they they made a lot of money because there were like maybe like 1,000 or more people doing the same thing. And there were some people that actually invested even more. There were some people that invested like $500 and things like that. So uh, it's really uh, terrible what they do. Yes, my, my brother was trying to work with uh, crypto uh -huh. and he was investing around um, $1,000. And once the, the, I don't know how to say, the, the value of the crypto down or decrease, drop, mm -hmm. drop uh -huh. he almost lost everything in there. It will not recover it because you know that it is the way they work. They talk about whales and fish and little fish and I don't know, but the whales they invest the much they want to win or earn, and once they decide to take the money back, there in that moment is when you lost everything because you don't have the control of that. And he lost a, a lot of money because he was around $1,000. Oh, my goodness. Yes. yes. Yeah, that was a lot of so money. So it happens. It happens. When, you when can feel better, that... teacher. <laughs> Excuse <Yeah>. me? <laughs> you can feel better now because yeah. you just, yeah. well. That makes me yeah. feel a little bit better, honestly. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Yes. I had a, a co-worker that I believe invest in the same business than you, something that uh, stock, some, something like that, but he invests like 2000 Oh my goodness. He has that money wow. in savings <laughs> and something that the company gave to her, to his wife when she left the company oh my and goodness. she, they lost, they lost everything. Oh Jesus! But all of us told him that that was a that was a fraud. No one yeah. makes money in that uh, easy way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, that's true. That's yeah, a... but, yeah, I know, Jacqueline. So all of you told him that that was a scam, and he didn't listen. He just wouldn't listen. I see. Yeah. Somebody invite invites me to to invest one thousand dollars and. They're going to back like in a six month the money. Mm -hmm. And in six months I will gain like um fifty percent of one thousand dollars. So they're going to give me the money per month. Plus per month and uh, and regret. It's the it's the it's the right word. Um uh, what do you wanna say? What what are you trying to say? Well, they're going to give me mm -hmm. again the money, mm -hmm. but in the next six months. Mm -hmm. And in the next six months, they're going to give me like a 50% of the money, but mm -hmm. dividing in six months. Mm -hmm. Six months. I don't know if, I, if I'm right. Mm -hmm. Can you follow me? Yeah. Yeah, I think I understand. Uh, so basically, they, are, they say that they would give you like the $1,000 in six months. Yeah. And yes. also, uh, you will get uh fifty percent more. Yes, mm -hmm. in six months. In and six I months. never give them. And I never give them the money, because you can, you can win money in that is that easy. Like they mm -hmm. try to show, try to to, I don't know, to make you feel that it's too mm -hmm. easy to win money. It's not that easy. Mm -hmm. So I never believe in that. Very good. You did right. You did right, Daniela. At least, at least you were the owner of the business. 
Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, but a, a lot of people believe in that. Yes. And you know what? The worst no. thing of the part of the story that the people who invite me was um a familiar, um, mm -hmm. my boyfriend's familiar. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. was for my boyfriend so mm -hmm. embarrassing for him. And for me, it was like, it's okay, baby. Sure. It's not you. It's your family and it's another person. It's okay. So it, it was a relative. It was his relative, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's, that happens. I mean, like I said, uh, this uh, woman that invited me, uh, she was a good friend of my mother. And I was like, I, I felt like if she was telling me that, uh, she, I, I felt like, she wasn't gonna lie because I felt like she knew my mother and she also knew my family so I felt uh, that kind of make me uh, agree because of that but at the end I think that you cannot trust almost anyone <laughs> that that was yeah. like a lesson for me yeah I think it's too good yeah. to be true right when it is about money you need to be careful because people change when we is when there is money mm -hmm. uh, in there. That's true. That is true. Mm -hmm. And like I said, uh, since she was going to get a bonus if I accepted, that was the reason why she was insisting so much. Because yes. uh, she would get more money. And people, they, they pro sometimes there are some people that they, uh, they would do anything for money. Anything. Yes, that's, that's how I it know. is. <laughs> yeah, so. I lost. I lost a friend that she. We were talking about learning, and borrow. And she asked me to borrow her, to lend her, or to lend her, uh -huh. um, around sixty or seventy dollars, uh -huh. and instead of pay the 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 loan the which and it is the word borrow instead of to pay me mm -hmm. instead of to pay the money she decided to don't talk to me again oh, i see <laughs> yes yeah so that's something that happens walter yeah people uh would ask you for money and then when you want them to give you the money back they will just stop talking to you that's something that happens yes. so yeah, she didn't is, she didn't pay you for that loan and she just decided just to not talk to you anymore it's really bad because it happens it happened yeah i know I, I that never happened to me because <laughs> i'm gonna tell you something guys um uh, i have been very like uh what is the word sometimes i forget um uh, like egotistical maybe I don't know if that's the correct word. What I'm trying to say is that I don't usually give people money. If somebody asks me for money, it's really hard for me to do it. I don't know why. I don't know if it's something good or something bad. But uh, I don't usually do it. But I know people that, just like Walter, uh, they give money to others and then uh, they just never pay you back. <laughs> It's, it's really awful that happened to yeah. uh, to my girlfriend actually uh she had a good friend at college and at some point uh they had to pay i think that it was just like uh some kind of premium just a 99 a 90 dollar premium uh so at, by that time she had some money and she uh lent the money to this guy and then uh, he never paid her back. And he it, he just stopped talking to her. That's what he did. Eso fue lo, al final eso pasa, ¿verdad? Es como que simplemente se van y ya después ya ni siquiera son tan amigos. Es bien, bien interesante cómo pasa. Y es bien triste. Uno piensa que tiene amigos y después resulta que, que no, quizás, ¿verdad? No eran tan buenos amigos como uno pensaba. Well, guys. This is very interesting. I really like uh, to have this kind of conversation with you guys. I think that since we are in the advanced, like almost the advanced level, I think that we need to uh, talk. We need to practice a lot. 
And I find that usually when we are talking, then sometimes uh, we can find the right word, right? And then we start thinking, uh, how can I say this? What is the right word for this? And that's really good because uh, we can learn from that. That is the that is the whole point. We need to learn from that. Okay. Right, guys. So for today, I also wanted to present this uh, new topic to you. Uh, you're not going to believe this, guys, but I'm having some technical difficulties. The thing is that a laptop computer and my computer is broken, let's say. <laughs> The, it's just like the screen, it just won't work anymore. So I'm trying to use another, uh, like another screen, another monitor, because my laptop is not working properly. So I'm, I'm having a hard time. So you guys see me looking uh, to the side or something like that, it's because of that, because my computer is not working, guys. So I'm sorry about that, I apologize. It's just that my computer is dying. And I got it just a year ago, but I use it all day. So probably that's the reason why. I may need to get a new, a new, a new computer. So uh, I really liked how we talked about all of these, uh, also all these experiences that we had in the past, because basically uh, this new topic that we have is a little similar to that, okay? So uh, we have this video, which is about uh, three girls. They are in a campground. They are uh, talking and they are uh, telling a story about, uh, well, in this case, it's a spooky story. Uh, do you guys know what uh, spooky means? Just like this, S-P-O-O-K-Y, spooky. Do you know what it means? Hold on, guys. Bear with me, guys. You're going to have to bear with me a little bit. I don't have an idea. You don't You don't know. You don't have an idea. Okay. Right. So spooky means like something scary, something frightening. Okay. Así que me gustaría que veamos este video, guys. Es como una película bien, bien interesante. La verdad, ya van a que les va a gustar. Es como temática de Halloween un poco. Así que está interesante. Se trata acerca de, eh, miren cómo se llama. Dice Around the Campfire. ¿Ok? Es como alrededor de la fogata. ¿Ok? That's what it means. O alrededor de la... Bueno, creo que lo mejor sería la fogata. Podría ser tal vez hoguera. Pero quizás fogata sería mejor. So we have this video, guys. And we can listen to it. I would like for you to pay attention to the video. Hi, everyone. But, yeah. But this is not it. I don't know what happened. Let's go back. There we go. Here's some for you to enjoy. All right, guys. So let's pay attention to it. This has a real poor oh, quality picture. So I apologize for that. The highest picture quality that we have available is 240. So it's not that uh, I wish we had a better picture quality, but we don't. So we're just going to have to listen to the audio. Then uh, you may be able to see like some shapes and that's people uh, talking in the video, okay? So let's pay attention to the video, guys. And then we can discuss, right? Just last for four minutes. It's very short. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. 
So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that. Just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. And was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor, dead bride. So how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. And I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that. Thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. guys <laughs> so do you realize who that guy was what's his name Theodore. what do you think about this story it's good right i liked it yes it was a good story <laughs> right it was good i like uh scary stories that kind of things i, I liked it when I was a little kid, I was really afraid. I was like terrified by horror movies. I mean, I was completely terrified. I wasn't, I wasn't able to watch a terror movie, guys, a horror movie when I was a kid, because I had nightmares. But now it's I, I like them. So, uh, do you realize, guys, uh, how they tell this story about something that, in this case supposedly happened in the past. So we use the different tenses, like we use the simple past, we use the simple, uh, I'm sorry, we use the past perfect. Uh, we use also like the past continuous. 
So we mix all of them so we can talk about something that happened in the past, right? So that's the that's the interesting part about this. I don't know if you guys have any questions about the vocabulary. Did you guys listen to any interesting vocabulary? Yes, at the beginning, mm -hmm. when she was starting to tell about the horror story, the the friends tried to bully him and saying like a chicken molly or something. Mm -hmm. That's right. Her... They, she, they said something like, don't be such a chicken. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, something like that. It's an right. it's an express it's an expression or something. Yep. Yeah, it's like uh it's como decirle a alguien que no sea gallina. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Basically it's just that. But we're, chicken we're going, yeah, we're going to listen to it very quickly again, Daniela, so you can hear it one more time, okay? Okay. Give me just a second. <laughs> I'm having a little trouble here. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Scary stories freak me out. <laughs> okay. Let's learn that kind of verbs, guys. Okay, let's uh, focus on that. That is going to help us to sound more natural at some point, right? right let's continue. Any questions about that verb? Do you guys know what that means? Are you talking about freak me out? Uh huh. It's like, um, me asusta demasiado. Uh huh. Yeah, basically, that's what it means. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Let's continue. Let's continue then. If we don't have any questions, we can move on. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. That's her name, right? Molly. That's her name. She's telling her, don't be such a chicken. Yeah. That's why I heard. I thought I was the old phrase like a such a chicken molly, but it's just like a such a tick, a chicken. Right. There you go. There you go, Niela. Very good. Very good job. But yeah, that's what she said. Don't be such a chicken molly. It's like if I uh if I told Daniela, for example, don't be such a chicken, Daniela. Okay? So that's what it is. Okay. Yes, okay. <laughs> there you go. I got it. Right. Awesome. Okay, let's continue. Vamos a ver qué más podemos escuchar por acá. Okay, sorry about this. Hold on. Ah, there we go. I think we got it. Oh. Come on, Ellen. Tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple... All right, and then she said before this was turned into, okay. Miren qué pasante es, eh, bueno, creo que voy a tener otra metodología diferente mejor porque esta no me está funcionando. Ok, voy a ir mandándoles por acá, digamos, las expresiones ahí. Turned into, okay. Ahí tenemos varios verbos interesantes, turned into. This is a phrase, Albert. It is a phrasal verb. That is correct. Okay. Very good, Daniela. We have a phrasal verbs. A lot, a lot. Like many, many. <laughs> All right, so let's continue. Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So? Okay. So uh, she says that Mr. McShane had inherited. So voy pasando por acá. He had inherited the land i think she said from a relative okay básicamente dice que él había heredado la tierra de un pariente okay de un familiar recordemos que relative es un familiar en caso que no lo supieran eh, así lo vamos a decir okay podemos decir uh, 
nuestra relación con la persona de la familia. O también podemos decir relative, ¿ok? So, I have a relative that works for that company, for example. I don't know. Uh, that kind of things. So, I, I hope that you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Ok, aquí usa el pasado perfecto, si se fijan. Dice, él había heredado la tierra de un pariente. Ok. Right, let's continue, guys. What's so scary about that? I... My goodness. What's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that. Just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable. Everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real... Eh, perdón, guys. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. Uh, so, uh, she's saying how he picked flowers for her, and then uh, he brought those flowers for her at night. Uh, did you hear that part? Vamos prestando atención cómo lo van relatando, ¿ok? Aquí es como en el pasado todo. Es como que él recogía flores y las traía por las tardes o por las noches para ella. Right, so let's pay attention to that. Let's pay attention to those details, please. Wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. And was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his... All right, so what did she say, guys? What did she just say? What did she just say? I'm sorry. Uh, she said that uh, he would carry uh, something of flowers. Did you hear that part? Um, she said that she carry a bunch of, of wild uh, flowers. Very good. Very good, Karen. Yeah, that is correct. Something like that, right? Uh, but vamos a ver. Es una palabra en específico. Solamente se las quería mencionar. Pero sí, el significado es ese. Un, un, como un montón de a flores. Bouquet. A bouquet. There you go. A bouquet of flowers. Yeah, that's an interesting word. That's the reason why I wanted to uh, tell you guys about it. Bouquet. So, voy a compartir por acá. So, bouquet of flowers. Okay. It's like a bunch of flowers. through the countryside and through the town searching searching and in his hands he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor dead bride so how did it turn out what finally happened to him that's the spooky part it's a mystery people saw him less and less and then 
Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Okay, and then guys, uh, probably you guys know this already, but uh, when you say, I didn't mean to, it's just like you're trying to say that uh, that was not your intention, right? That you didn't want to do something. Like, I didn't mean to frighten you girls. Okay, I, I didn't want to uh, scare you. That's what he's saying, right? So, uh, that's what it means, just in case, okay? Probably you guys know that already. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking. All right, and then, uh, as you can see, we have a lot of verbs here going on. Like, I'll let you get back to it. So what that means is like, uh, sería como una forma amable de decir, eh, voy a dejar que regresen a lo que estaban haciendo, okay? Básicamente eso es lo que significa. Okay, so I'll let you get back to it. Let's uh, try to remember all those expressions so you guys can use them, okay? Checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, well, okay then, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us. And sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. And then, guys, uh, what does it mean, uh, thanks for checking on us? What does that mean? It's like a thank you for asking if we are well or not. Right. For sure. carry, for mm. carry on for us or something like that. For, for caring for us. Yes, very good. Very good, Daniela. Good job. That's what it means. Like, thank you for asking, basically. <laughs> right. Thank you for cons worrying about us, about us. Right. That's what it means. Vamos a ver. Sigamos. Ya casi terminamos, guys. Ya casi. I'm used to. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers and they're in bloom right now. Very pretty. Okay, so then, uh, vamos a ver. Aquí dice algo interesante. Él. Look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers and they're in bloom right now. A field full of wildflowers, and they are in bloom right now, okay? That means, uh, what does that mean? Oh, hi. Flowers to be in bloom. Así. Básicamente cuando las flores ya se abren, ¿verdad? Los pétalos, así. Eso es lo que significa. Se les dice que deberían de revisar por ese camino... Eh, porque está lleno, ese campo está lleno de, de flores silvestres eh, eh, que ya, ya, o sea, sus pétalos ya se abrieron, básicamente. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. Ya casi terminamos, guys. Perdón, Karen, ¿quería decir algo? Eh, no, nada, que era como florecer, vea. Básicamente, sí, exactamente. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate that. Sometimes words escape me. I don't know what, what, what happens, but sometimes I, I can remember. I get confused. But thank you. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that, thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted, Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted, Ted McShane. You have a good night. <laughs> And there we go, guys. I think that's that's the end, <laughs> right? So, guys, do you have any questions regarding the video? Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys learned something today, because that is the most important it's part. Funny. The end <laughs> is funny. <laughs> very good. Very, very good, Karen. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, guys. Well, uh, so if you guys don't have any questions, then I guess that uh, this is going to be it for today. Uh, thank you, guys. You guys have a great evening, and I will see you tomorrow.
Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night, guys.